Welcome to Tech Maestro. Elon Musk has confirmed that the Tesla Cybertruck will be equipped four-wheel directional steering resulting in a feature similar to the Hummer EV's crab mode. To my knowledge I don't believe any Tesla has actually ever had before which makes sense, because most of what they've done is sedans and subs and sports cars, but because the Cybertruck is so massive and it's such a large vehicle it makes a lot of sense that Tesla would want to improve the turning radius for navigating through tight spaces and getting it to fit in very small parking lots. Over the last year, Musk has been talking about Tesla unveiling an updated version of the Cybertruck ahead of the start of production, which is still officially planned for later this year. The CEO has talked about Tesla updating the Cybertruck's adaptive air suspension. They also talked about making the truck smaller, but Musk scrapped that plan after a design review back in May of 2020. While the automaker scrapped plans for a smaller Cybertruck for the time being, some slight modifications to the design and dimensions are expected. More recently, he has been saying that the production will look almost exactly the same as the prototype unveiled back in 2019, and he has also missed some timelines to unveil the updated version. When asked about an update on the Cybertruck, Musk said on Twitter last night that it will be almost exactly what was shown. That would indicate that an unveiling of an update is not in the plans anymore, or at least not on the timeline previously announced. But then, Musk added the biggest tidbit of new information about the Cybertruck yet. The CEO confirmed that the Tesla Cybertruck is going to have four-wheel steering, the pickup truck is stacked with a ton of very impressive features, and one of the most impressive of them is crab mode. Not unlike a crab walking on its sides, the Hummer EV has a four-wheel steering system that enables it to move diagonally in a straight line. Elon Musk said that the production model is pretty much exactly what the prototype looks like, and the size is about the same, but simultaneously he keeps just casually dropping all of these game-changing features and design tweaks that we're not really sure how to feel about between the last one Cybertruck won't have door handles which in my opinion is a huge change to the prototype design. Real wheel steering will be of extremely good appreciation because a lot of people seem to take trouble with the Plaid Model S yoke that is simply now hitting the marketplace and people do not like how lots you need to flip that thing while you're in a tight parking lot and basically creating a three-point flip. However, in case you had a tighter turning radius then the yoke I assume could now not be as insupportable due to the fact you wouldn't have to turn it as hard, and perhaps Tesla is hearing approximately all of those yoke complaints with the brand new Model S and figuring out that the Cybertruck is going for use more for paintings, so it makes sense to provide it a tighter turning radius as it's now not a performance vehicle it really is supposed to be driven at the tune all of the time despite the fact that tri-motor Cybertruck yeah it will be quite insanely fast nonetheless safe to say no longer clearly the equal form of music automobile that the plant model s is so if it is being meant greater for paintings use it makes experience for the turning radius to be tighter and i do suppose it truly is an underrated function the crab mode that some people had been speculating on because the Hummer EV has rear wheel steering as nicely, and they have a function wherein you may flip both the front wheels and the back wheels in the same direction, and have the car pass diagonally, which isn't always surely necessarily that purposeful, because you're now not moving perpendicularly, so it would not be that beneficial for parallel parking, it is virtually just type of a gimmicky display off feature. But Tesla likes the one sorts of features, so if via software program, they want to permit the rear wheels to move within the same path as the, the front wheels, they could just be like Howdy, we've crab stroll too in the event that they did not introduce that characteristic, because they do not see it as very useful, or maybe it is simply too tricky for the mechanics at the interior of the Cybertruck. I would not be shocked in any respect, due to the fact, I don't assume it really is a motive to buy a car for most people. And the Cybertruck has escalated nicely over a million reservations, without absolutely everyone understanding about the rear actual guidance, so now that we recognize approximately it, it probable isn't going to exchange humans' minds, people who have been in love with the Cybertruck, and nevertheless excited to get one, are gonna be like cool k this is better than I thought, and the people who weren't interested by one, 
probably are not gonna change their minds, either they may be gonna be like real steer. The CEO has been talking about Tesla updating the Cybertruck's adaptive air suspension. He had also talked about making the truck smaller, but Musk has scrapped that plan after a design review back in May 2020. The company this week announced that it has produced and delivered over 200,000 vehicles in Q2 2021. In the second quarter, the electric vehicle company produced 206,421 units and delivered 201,250 units. Musk had written to his employees last week that Tesla is executing well, but they need to go all out at the end of the quarter. If GMC wants to get into the Tesla 0-60 to game, Tesla will happily get into Hummer's crowdwalk game, with Electrek reporting that the Cybertruck will also feature a similar all-wheel steer feature that only really seems to exist to make the utterly monstrously huge trucks mildly easier to maneuver. Do you think Tesla will keep the lead on the EV market in the years to come make sure to let us know in the comment section below, also leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and only a small percentage of people subscribe.